back to a brand new video guys my name is Timmy the Toy Time King and we are back with a PU laddering video I finally got around to doing one of these videos and hopefully more come out in the future uh, assuming that I'm not busy with anything but yeah I'm gonna start consistently uploading more PU ladder videos just cause yeah I wanna improve and just try improving my team building that's the whole goal of all of this you know like just trying to it's not even about getting to the top like I can do like PU ladder isn't worth getting to the top four it's just more for me of practicing when there's no tournaments going on and whatnot uh yeah i, I thought the what do you call it always oh, at four never mind i can't i can't no it's, yeah it's, it's at four yeah the pu official room tour is at four uh for me today but yeah today i'm recording this on saturday but yeah uh so today's video is just going to focus on uh lady colo here and lady colo to be honest uh lady colo here is uh quite a good pokemon i think I, ever since the eggy ban i've been trying to use it a lot on some teams i built two teams around it but yeah ludicolo like i don't know what drawn me to it but the fact that eggy was able to set up on like really defensive ones like regirock and Mudsdale, like the stealth rock is in our tier uh with trick room and just start sweeping uh and breaking things due to its very high uh special attacks that i think ludicolo can can accomplish the same thing if you think about it because again it's a grass type that resists ground type moves and it's not the bulkiest one but with 80 hp decent 100 uh special defense it can actually just come in on uh regirock and uh mudsdale for free and just threaten them out and set up rain dance and at that point nothing can resist uh life orb uh boosted rain hydro pump it just does a lot of damage and even if you think about the types that resist water w itself and grass i think that resist water uh grass gets hit by ice beam which you could has and it actually does a good chunk of damage to ligand probably to uh Ukuza, i think i can't remember the calcs and then the water types they they can't even come out because of giga drain and they'll do a lot of damage also checks mons like quagsang gastrodon pretty well and quagsang is kind of being used a lot on more defensive builds and yeah ludicolo can punish that and even punish the water immunities eg gastrodon and jellicent with giga drain so yeah that's why i wanted to use ludicolo and we got a team choice bands gun tanks quite nice uh does a lot of damage i'd say uh specs mesprit like these are two pretty good breakers especially choice specs mesprit just does so much damage uh this is our hazard removal and hazard uh setting a load in sand slash the spadef set it's quite solid i've been liking it recently as well uh as i said ludicolo uh flying z dojo still does work if uh it's able to get free stuff and then we have scarf ape so yeah we're going to be going on ladder now and Hopefully we find the game quite quickly, but if we don't, I can always just stop the recording and come back. But yeah, we're actually in one first, and there's not too many people on ladder actually at this time. Because uh, my time zone isn't the best for ladder, because Showdown is uh, more North American based than I'm in England, so I'm ahead. But yeah, there's actually a decent amount of battles going on. So yeah, looking at this guy's team, uh, quite weird. There is utter, utter hyper offense. I'm assuming that's screens, uh, what do you call it, Meow Stick. So that's going to be quite annoying for me, honestly, especially when I don't have any default. But yeah, if I'm assuming he's going to lead off with either that, uh, Frostlass or Meow Stick. But yeah, uh, so he does lead Kabutops actually. And uh, I don't know what my reaction to Kabutops here is. Uh, I do outspeed it, so I can just go for a choice band crunch here and see how much damage I can do. Hopefully he's not weak armor. But I take it and it does reveal to be weak armor and he does sell rocks there. So he can go for like a liquidation here or any form of damage to actually just try and uh, hit me with here. But he's not going to live the next attack and he does he has no dark resist apart from primate and I don't think primate wants to be taken uh choice banded crunch. But yeah, he does go for liquidation to it me there. And he does get the defense drop which doesn't really matter but he can just bring in Primate for free. And obviously, no psychic resists either. So if he brings in Primate, my number one thing is obviously to go into Mesprit. But if he does, uh, what do you call it? Yes, he does bring in Primate here. And I can just go into Mesprit. The fact that Mesprit's my only fighting check is a bit scary for this team. Uh, yeah, one of the flaws, Simisa can do this team in pretty badly, if I'm not careful. So he does go for a close combat here. And uh, I need to do Calcs. Uh... It actually does a decent chunk of damage, and I'm actually shocked that did, uh, oh yeah, I lost, 
I lost stealth rock damage. I was like, that did like 41%. I was like, is that banded? But yeah, guaranteed he's going to swap out. Yes, yeah, so he does go into Meowstic. Good that I stepped in. But yeah, I'm going to get rocks away because I really don't want to have them up for Dojo. He could anticipate that and go into Frostlass here. So he does T-Wave me, which and I get paralyzed, which is really bad. Because he could go into Frostlass now and it's kind of unfortunate there. But now I think he can proceed to set off like his screens or whatever he wants to do. But he goes into Primeape and... Okay, Primate's back in, but I don't get my rocks up, so I'm going into Sax Gun Tank here just so I can get some aftermath damage. So you don't go for close combat, and yeah, uh, aftermath damage does come in there. So here I can go into Mesprit again and just threaten this thing out. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to see how much Psychic does. He actually opts to bring in Frostlass, and that just drops. So yeah, he might assume I'm Specs, judging from that damage. But yeah, I was not expecting that to kill. So yeah, both could be tops and frost last are down, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying earlier, the problems with this team, Simisei can actually do it in. Like, I haven't faced the Scar Simisei yet, but I would actually be afraid of it. By going to... Yeah, so he does set up uh, screens here, so it's most likely likely. Uh, it's quite scary here. So I do set up rocks, and I can't do much here, honestly. Uh, just going to go for as much damage as I can. Yeah, still does decent damage. Uh, no direct switch-ins. I'm willing to... I think uh, Sand Slash has done this job here. So, yeah. He does do that. <clears throat> Again, I can go for a Psychic here. Guaranteed he k dies to that. So, uh, I do want to click Psychic. Yeah, he does decide to stay in. Because he probably anticipated me to go for U-turn there or something. But he outspeeds me anyways. So... I don't know what that was about, but yeah, Fracture is in. This one could be potentially a problem. So he does proceed to start with Dragon Dance. You kill me here, or you get greedy. Uh, and I don't think you want to get greedy, so... Uh, so he does go for Dragon Claw. I can bring out Scarf Primate here. And Reflex still has two turns up. I actually don't kill it there, which is... Okay, so... He does proceed to sell for Dragon Dance and uh, I still outspeed plus two Fracture. That's poor. That's incredibly poor. Uh, so, so he does go for the Reflect. Uh, I still got Thing in the back. I'm just going to go for my strongest move. Oh, for fuck's sake, bro. That's annoying. That's really bad, because now I don't, so he goes for Ebo, doesn't do too much to me, and uh, now I click return here, yeah, so Lilligant either goes for the Z move here, or, because there's nothing that he can actually use to kill me, but yeah, we'll see what he does here, he does go for the HP, whatever that is. Best option is obviously go for Ice Beam here. Yeah, and I think I do get the crit here because the battle's over. So I do crit him there. So that guy's team was quite scary, uh, especially without hazards. I That was pretty close. Unfortunately, I crit him there. He could have actually won there if I wasn't careful. But yeah, GG. So we're going to go into the next game here. Hopefully we don't face that guy again. Because that match was a bit scary. But we got a bit of a more standard team here actually. So Basculin, you don't see Basculin every day honestly. And uh, yeah, have, have fun. Uh, am I having fun playing this? I don't know. But you know, uh, we'll see. But he has Mudsdale, Drampa. This is kind of similar to a team I've seen before. Or a team I tried to imagine in my head. But yeah, could lead with Mudsdale here. And if he does lead with Mudsdale, I'll lead Ludicolo. So he does, he does bring in Electros, and uh, I don't know how much damage Yule does to me. I have no Electric Resist. So Volt Switch is a free KO, which is quite nice, actually. So he does... Or he, do, he, or he goes for that, actually.
So shout out Rain Dance and he goes for Giga Drain. Guaranteed he goes for the Vault Switch here. Or he stays in. Which is quite weird. But yeah. Where where's the switch in? Nothing wants to switch in on this. Nothing at all. Basculin, that's gonna drop. Or close to drop actually. Aqua Jet wouldn't do anything. Oh, what? That actually did... Oh, yeah, it's adaptability. That's a quarter resisting rain, and that did 19. But I was low anyway, so... Lee is down, which is unfortunate. Did well versus Mudsdale, but... What can you do about that? Okay, so we're going to bring this gun tank here. So he does bring him... He does decide to bring in Mudsdale. Hmm. I'm going to get Mesprit in. Uh... We'll see what he decides to do. He might bring in Scun Tank. No, he brings out Eel. And that drops the Psychic. Now, obviously Scun Tank comes in there and get Pursuit Trapped. Which isn't really a problem. It does a decent chunk. Do you want Rocks away? Because Dojo is my Wing Kong in here. So, yeah. Then I can get on my own Rocks. Okay. Shame that I only have like one special attacker. He's gonna kill me here. Definitely, he's gonna kill me here. Okay. Uh, what's the play? Yeah, so he does decide to kill me here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm lacking Ice Beam. I don't want to... don't want to get Pursuit Trapped again. So, we're just going to go for some damage. So, I do crit him there, actually, and that does 60. Uh... Mudsdale is a problem. He can't swap out. Nothing wants to take this. And if he does swap out, he's just... Yeah, he's forced to stay in here, actually. And just take whatever damage I deal to him. And if he's running the new spread, then... He's not... He doesn't have any, like, spread FEVs. Ooh, man. This may or may not kill. Oh boy, this is a problem. Is that plus five? Oh, that's plus five attack, I was about to say. That does 10 to 12. This does not kill. So he does decide to sort of... Okay, that does decent damage. Why did he swap out? He could have killed my uh, primate here. Okay, so he does reveal an offensive mess for it. On a team like this, wouldn't this be scarfed? Okay. Now just you turn. I shall go for Sucker Punch. But I do need Primate for Jumper, so... And I need it for Scun Tank as well. Yeah, but yeah, why didn't he not kill my primate? That's what I don't understand. That's what I don't understand. But yeah, uh... If you bring the mods deal, that'll even take damage from U-turn, actually. That was 14 to 17, and... 
off the rocks, he'll definitely die. Yeah, I don't know what his plan is. Not in the slightest. Yeah. So, Dojiro can come in now. I'll kill Skuntank with Supersonic Sky Strike. Go for Jump Kick against Drampa. Yeah, I'm in a perfect state to win this game. Uh, now, Drampa is going to be a problem because... I don't know, I need to see the calcs for Brave Bird and Flying EMZ. So, yeah, that kills off the rocks. I'm gonna go for that. Yep. Uh, Mudsdale will die to return, and yeah, the game's done. Uh, so, that's GG there. Could go, could go Sucker Punch on Skun Tank. Won't do anything to me, but I'll just Brave Bird. Wow, that actually doesn't kill. That's actually quite sad. Uh, yeah, so you don't go for Sucker Punch there. As I go for Brave Bird. Yeah, it's a good game here. GG. Even even if he decides to bring out Mudsdale and I get minus one, I'll never die anyways. I'll never die to uh sucker punch. And judging by that damage that wasn't banded, so I should be fine. Unless I get critted here, or he actually just doesn't. But yeah, that was, that was a good game here. Mudsdale was quite scary, not going to lie. That was very, very scary. If I wasn't careful. Hey, that guy was actually decently high ranked. What was he? One. What was his name? I even forgot who I was facing, bro. Even forgot who I was. Yeah, this guy, number 24 on ladder. Not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. And I'm here. Wait, did ladder reset or something? Or am I actually just really high ranked yeah it's cause yeah i'm just actually decently high ranked now 124 not too bad never really cared about where i was on ladder but it's nice to know that i'm actually climbing uh we're facing pablo uh chew test uh i've seen this guy around his team is quite why is there, why are people using fracture man like it's not like i hate fracture but like it's not hmm all right Ludicolo does work, obviously, always does work. Fracture, depending on the set, could be max HP, but highly doubt it. But, uh, if you like, max HP against Ludicolo Ice Beam. Still does 88. Nice if I have my hazards up this game. But yeah, we'll lead with Scan Tank, see who he wants to lead with. So he leads Pom Pom. This will not appreciate a crunch. Oh, he decides to attack me, and that's a free KO there. So, yeah. Nice damage. You don't want to roost off the damage. You, you're you risking a defense drop here. There's no point of roosting. No point of roosting. You're risking a defense drop. Yeah, so he does decide to bring out his own scan tank here. This is optimal time to bring out a load and sand slash. As he does go for Dark Pulse. Oh, he does taunt me. Well played. Uh, I'm going to go for Ice Cocoa Crash here. Just in case he decides to bring out Pom Pom predicting the Earthquake. Yeah, all mess for it either way. So he does decide to set out rocks. So, there was no point in me swapping out here. Bufalant. Okay. I want to see what this guy does. Oh, it goes for Earthquake. Cool. So at least there's no more rocks. Pom Pom comes in on rocks. I can go for U-turn here. He's going to go for Earthquake here. Oh, I almost died to that. That's not nice. I was expecting another... Well, why would he Earthquake? Yeah, I should have not done that. But at least Master is dead. You away my dojo. So he does decide to bring Ditto out. Please go for Brave Bird. Or return. You away. Yeah, he does go for return here. And that is a free ice cold crash on me here.
yep, Scun Tank's dead. No more hazards. This is quite nice. This game's going to go quite well. My Pokemon are getting weakened though, so Fracture comes in. Could decide to start setting up Dragon Dance. Or I actually get outsped by this. Shocking. Uh Don't need Scun Tank anymore, so we're just going to go for moves here and just click buttons. See how much damage this does. Start setting up. Okay, I just bring out Scarf Primate. I just bring out Scarf Primate and I U turn. Buffalant does come in. Could be assault vested. I can't tell by the calcs, but return never kills. Return never kills. Unless he's no but judging from the damage he was no, he's no way he's banded. That did not kill my dojo. That did not kill my dojo, no way that's banded. Okay, so what's his plan? Yeah, so that's down. He could bring out Pom Pom here and roost against me. Or he brings out this. Which, in turn, I can just Psychic. Psychic will do a, a huge chunk. Or I get critted there, which sucks. But doesn't matter, I still win. Yeah, you're forced to attack. You you're forced to attack and it's just GG. GG. And then we just bring out big boy ape and click close combat. Yeah, I am liking this team. It's close games which I'm liking. I'm actually getting good quality games on ladder. Bad test. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so we're actually doing well. Uh, <laughs> this is fun though. Ah, uh, he left. Oh well. Uh, we'll probably get one more game. I've did one. I didn't really get to show off the Ikulu this game. We've just been laddering, but it's been good experience just to get a ladder game on the channel again. But yeah, the Ikulu's been putting in some good work. I've won every game, which is quite nice. Uh, and we're actually on the high end of the ladder because I'm actually playing on my actual account, so that's actually quite nice. Dude, code has been putting in the work, and yeah, I feel like it's not even about the what do you call it, the plays, because I'm smart enough to make the plays, and I know how to click. I wouldn't really say I know how to click buttons, but I know what I'm doing in terms of battling. It's just mostly because of the teams, to be honest. And it's just practicing, getting, building more teams, getting used to team building, having an idea of what I want to actually build instead of just putting six ones on the uh, team, to be honest. But yeah, uh, usually we'll be finding games quite quickly. But yeah, since we're not finding any games quickly, I'll pause it and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, this is the last game and we are back. Uh, interesting team my opponents got here. I don't think it's Trick Room, but Carbink on anything outside of Trick Room is quite just poor in general, to be honest. Uh, let me just check if it's recording. Yep, OBS is recording. Uh, so yeah, most likely he's going to lead with Carbink. Uh, do I want to unthreaten this thing out with a little Sand Slash, actually? Or he decides to go in this. So I, I could get taunted here, so I don't want to get taunted. Yeah, so this is an easy pursuit. This is an easy pursuit. Oh, oh, he decides to burn me. I got disabled. Oh, that's annoying. Sandslash Alola into Mesprit. Okay, nice. I just U turn. He could decide to sell these rocks. Ludicolo would be an easy switch in. Especially when this is a free at KO always. And I have enough chip damage to kill him. So he does toxic me there. And he is back at full HP. So. Bring him my own. Uh, Lulin Sand Slash. Get out rocks. 
get rid of whatever sturdy that carbink wants to use. Okay, I'll just keep lowering your HP. We're doing around the same. Oh, I did 37. Unless I'm getting low rolls. Okay, so that's the play. I click Earthquake again. Hmm. That's. What type of rolls are these, man? Really annoying. Free to bring out Ludi Cooler and just click Hydro Pump now. He goes into Jellicent. Okay, cool. Mm. Shame my Skuntank got freaking... Uh... Oh, so he's Trick Room here. I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch. Fuck. Calm Mind? Am I going to see a Calm Mind car bank here? Nope. Well, he just sets out rocks. Okay. No Saki resists on his side apart from a Lowland Sand Slash and that doesn't want to take anything. Nice damage. And his team is quite slow out of Frostlass. Outside of Frostlass, so. Moonbluff is 35, offensive carving. Yeah, that's not a switching. That's not a switching. Judge, did you not see the damage I did to your carving? See how much damage this does. So he sets up Trick Room again. Could go for Shadow Ball here. Yeah, so he does go for Shadow Ball and just misses out on the KO. Trick Room. This is the weirdest Trick Room team I've seen. Anyways. It's all about the sacks. It's all about the sacks. Until Trick Room is out. No Poison Rose Deceiver. Even though I'm burned. Or he's actually Z. What's he gonna do? Swaps out. Does this thing get Trick Room as well? I'm actually gonna be pretty sad if it has Trick Room. Self Sword Zant. That, that kills me, for fuck's sake. I was not even expecting that to kill. This is, this is the weirdest team I've seen. What's this guy's elo? Not too shabby. I might, I might actually, uh, yep. Nice, GG. Ah, oh, that sucks. Fucking hate Trick Room, man. How much elo am I going to lose? I'm going to lose a chunk. Just because I lost to a guy like this using Trick Room. But yeah. Overall, positive video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. And please subscribe to the channel. Share this video. So, uh, if you guys want to see more PU content, more of these videos are going to be coming out. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.